Welcome back to the channel guys, it's just another video for you tonight, final video of the day. As you can see, uh, Safe Haven did manage to get that breakout after we saw that Dragonfly, almost Dragonfly doji pattern uh, printed on the chart. Um, it did get another breakout to the upside. Now one thing to watch out for on this is the daily close, alright, so that might decide where the price action is going to go after that if this does come back down and we get a red daily close or like an indecision candle that's obviously going to leave you uh wondering but um if this close is red then i guess we could see that it's going to continue down if we see that it does close green then that's probably still bullish all right now how do i like how do i determine price actions sometimes just based on knowledge and experience right i've seen it so many times yeah if we look at something like nimic for example right nimic i call the bottom of nimic right and this was before i was making videos for you guys right so just with a friend for example you know um i did buy nimic quite a lot of nimic but i did get out pre prematurely on nimic i will say but after that i watched it go up you know and just do some crazy business to the upside, all right? Something like a, a thousand percent, right? But obviously, like, these things don't go up forever, all right? So when you're breaking into the price discovery zone, you have to be very cautious. Now, it's definitely a very volatile zone. The profit potential is very serious. That's why normally you leave something on the table, all right? But the last thing you want to be doing is not taking profits down here and watching this big sell-off happen all right now there's a there's a, there's also a chance that it can continue to the upside after a long consolidation right it can continue to the upside but there's also a chance it can do something like this right if we look at the lend chart now lend is obviously doing some crazy things um if you don't know lend it's, it's, uh, um, it's actually called a double -E and uh, yeah lend is I think it's up like 5,000 percent or something like that it's just been consistently going up over the year right but obviously a market cycle is um, you know something that you have to watch out for as well you know um, are you seeing a, a top that you could have potentially could potentially be selling? And not selling it or is it the beginning of something even more huge now if you look at lend well obviously lend is popping off now right so obviously you can see the parabolic curve again but if you look uh, previously you know there was a parabolic curve over here right and this was over in two in the in the 2018 bull market right and then you see um it comes all the way back down to the downside and that's like a full retracement right before going into a long uh, two-year accumulation right and slowly building up to the upside the last thing you want to be doing is holding it for two years or the, or the last thing i want to be doing for example right and there's you know nobody can really call the bottoms and the tops um, perfectly right but that this is what scaling out a little bit of profits is good for right um but when you look at when you consider something like lend the price that it's at now i mean i mean the market cap's going to be pretty high i'm not going to check it right now well i know it is right and obviously it's going to the upside so this is no longer low market cap right we're looking at something like safe haven like safe haven is still very low market cap okay now i've seen it many times right you see it go boom right and then you get a longer accumulation now the longer the accumulate the accumulation the bigger the breakout is going to be so don't frown up on a long accumulation you don't always want it to just pop off straight away yeah the longer the accumulation the bigger the move okay so this was accumulating after the last pop for over a month right over a month yeah or, or or just just a month let's just say a month right after a month we see it pop off to the upside again right 
and that's what we want to see. Something like Spark Point, for example, right? I've seen it too many times. Obviously, you get a huge move, yeah? Something like 700, 1000 percent, right? And then what we do is we get a little bit of a sell off. Now, uh, this is how I knew to be selling up up here. When I'm seeing these big candles to the upside, you know, I wanted to be taking profits around here. And I did that, and I'm buying back in down here for the next hold, for the next run. Okay? We want to see long accumulation, and this can potentially change, right? Let's go from the top of the wicks. Let's just draw it like that, okay? Right. So we want to see, yeah? We want to see it slowly curving, right? And we can adjust these lines as, as it goes on, as the chart structure continues. But, you know, the longer the accumulation, right, the bigger the breakout. Now, if this did come uh, down quite far, all right, if it did come like this, then, you know, it probably would have been a little bit more attractive. But just considering uh, what SparkPoint is doing and everything and the price of it, you know, I do have high hopes for it to continue to the upside. Now, if you see the last time, it popped, right? It popped and it came down, right? It just went sideways for ages, guys. Right? We're looking at over here from the 7th of June all the way until the 29th of July. So almost two months, right? It did get a little, a little bounce about a month in, and that was no small move, guys. That was like a 100, 200 percent move almost, right? And then obviously we got the breakout. So it wouldn't be a bad thing to see just consolidate consolidate sideways sideways for a little while that's why i'm long term holding at the moment yeah obviously i wouldn't want to see it fall all the way down okay all the way back down to the beginning if it did i'll probably be um, you know taking more positions around that level but obviously everything that i'm playing with in sparkle at the moment is pure profits that i've made from previous trades right but what i do expect with spark point is it to do something like 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 what safe haven has been doing after the initial pop you see it come down for a correction you just go sideways for a bit and then we get some more you know big moves to the upside you know just like we saw with nimic you know and i know and i know it doesn't look like much on this chart right um because i'm zoomed out so much but if i zoom out you know you can see these moves guys big moves to the upside We're looking at over here 200% right and then from the bottom right just to the first move right 800% yeah we get it um, accumulating to the upside then we get another breakout right another big breakout and that one like another 300 odd percent okay so those are the kind of moves you can expect to see sometimes in these low caps right uh, with sharing for example I call the very very bottom of sharing the very very bottom okay what did sharing do after that you know we had a breakout right 200 percent 500 percent 1200 percent we had this first breakout yeah and it's, it's hard to like when you're on the uh let me, let me put it on the one day right Obviously, for me, I was seeing a double bottom over here, right? So I knew it was the bottom, and it was only like a year old, okay? We got the first break to the upside, yeah? We got the second break to the upside, correction, right? And then we get that final pump to the upside before we see a big correction, right? And now, it's just coming down and, you know, having that big correction and hopefully it can get another push to the upside and it does look like it is holding these levels pretty well it's only a matter of time before we see another push to the upside and that's what i'm expecting on something like sharing all right i've got nothing in no skin in the game on sharing at the moment but what's this space all right it's a lot more expensive than what i bought down here you know but it still is enticing it's only three cents all right it did make it up to five cents at the peak but uh yeah it's definitely a, a discount for those that missed it uh, that, that missed it before and were wondering about getting in at these price levels up here okay 
So yeah, I mean, you've got to look out for these things, guys. You've got to um, kind of be smart, know when to take some profits. Um, you know, I don't always get it right. You know, sometimes I can hold it. I mean, for example, I, I did get out of safe haven. You know, I did get out yesterday when I saw that it was uh, falling back below. When I saw that it was falling back below my support level yesterday, I had a little flag drawn. I did get out. You know, we saw this big sell off today. Well, that got bought all the way back up. I did a video earlier to say that, you know, this is a bullish reversal pattern, right? So we could see it. So, so I expected to see it go to the upside, but I was reluctant to put a position in, only for the simple fact that I've got I've got it locked up in another trade at the moment. And, you know, um, not about FOMO right now. So especially when you're seeing all of this price action to the upside anyway, I mean, for the move that it went up, I mean, it would have been nice if I caught the bottom here, right? But like, I wasn't in the house at the time. And I didn't manage to buy that dip, but right? But if I did see that, I most definitely would have been buying that dip. But if I would have been getting in when I caught, when I did catch catch it, you know, I'd be making what like twenty percent. You know, not really worth me jumping in into that. Um, I mean, yeah, it's always worth it, 20% is a lot of money at the end of the day, depending on how much you're putting in, but how much uh, steam has it got left in the tank, you know, before we actually do see a proper, a real correction, not like this width to the downside, a real correction, all right, but it is in a significant zone at the moment, and there could be a lot more upside, I will say that, but at the same time, there could be some downside, and going into a new week, you just have to wait and see how the next couple of days plays out on a chart like this. Um, it's probably safer not to take any positions at the moment. But I do think that Safe Haven does have a a, a bright future ahead of it. All right, and uh, so yeah, Spark Coin. Um, you know, I'm I'm hoping to get that move to the upside. You know, it doesn't matter to me if it does take a little bit longer. Than um, you know, than, than than what you know, a lot of people are expecting, because at the end of the day, like I say, the longer it takes, the bigger the move is going to be to the upside, and that's what I'm hoping for, um, and why I'm huddling my bags of spark point at the moment. Okay, guys, I hope that video made a little bit of sense to you. Uh, just another update. Been making quite a lot of videos on a daily basis. Uh, I like to keep, keep you guys updated in real time. I think that's about it for now if you're not subscribed to the channel do me a favor and subscribe like leave a comment down below and i'll see you again in the next video